What's up, YouTubers? This is Will the Computer here, and this is part three of how to make an, uh, a flash quiz, basically a quiz and flash. Yeah. Um, in part one and part two, we created basically this uh, title start. I just whipped something out quick. If this is the wrong answer, so game over. Uh, no. And as you can see, um, if you press it or you just roll over it, basically you just touch it. Uh, it says game over. Try again. Uh, no, click the button, go around it like this, and just click this button, it goes to the next frame. Alright, it goes to the next question. But there is no next question. That's what the part three here is for. So basically what we're going to do is, um, in this one, like I mentioned, the impossible quiz on onemorelevel.com. Once again, I'll have the link for that directly to play that game in the description. Um... On one of its questions, or the, I'm sorry, not the impossible quiz, but on one of the questions on the impossible quiz 2, I'll have um, the link for both of those direct, um, the both the links to play that those both games directly. Um, but the impossible quiz 2 um, has a question, how do you PPP pick up a penguin? And you drag the letters, pick up drag the words pick up a penguin and it says you you go to the next question i'm going to teach you how you can do that so first of all you're going to make um on that new blank keyframe right click insert blank keyframe and you're going to have to on that net other layer make that stop action too um i'll have the code for that you have to put in the certain text in the description so basically i'm going to um have the both buttons. Uh, I'm just going to drag up the rectangles once again. And again, I'm going to right click, convert symbol, make them both buttons. Um, and, uh, oops. And what you're going to do is basically give both of these buttons some code. What you're going to do is you're going to um, go to actions and you're going to say on. Um, once again, I'll have the link for this in um, the code in the description. Release on release. Go to and play 100. You know, remember the loser scene on frame 100? Oh, uh, yeah. Talking about that. Oh, man. Uh, as you can see, I put the buttons on the uh, layer 2 when they should be on layer 1. Uh, so I'll just, um, how can I do this? I could, uh, edit, cut, and on this frame, control shift D, there we go. Um, let me make sure I still have the code. Uh, nope. Uh, I'm gonna have to get the code from YouTube again. Um, but that's fine. Whatever. Uh, so what you do here is on these buttons, you put the on release code to play 100. Uh, because that's the loser scene, of course. Um, right there, and this is new. You're gonna put it on both of them. Usually, one answer, one would go to the next question. Not on this one. This is gonna be different. What you're gonna do is, I'm just gonna cut. Um, no offense, slap me, do the guy who creates the impossible quiz. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna copy slap me do's question. Uh, the impossible quiz do's question. How? Do, do you now PVP? Don't type in the part that you want to pick up. That you want the people to drag. Don't, don't type that part. Don't type that part. Why? Because it needs to be separate, and I'll tell you in a second why. It's a little complicated. Um, what you want to do is have the buttons way down. Low. Uh, you don't have to, but you know, just to give it some room. And what you're going to do is you're going to write, uh, make sure this is all one line here, it'll be easier. And what you're going to do is you're going to press Control D or go to Edit Duplicate. Click on that duplicate and drag it downward to line up with it. It needs to be really close to it, like you actually, to look like you typed it. And you're going to type the part that you not want them to drag. Pick up penguin. 
and you're gonna now type the part that you want to drag. Select the part that you want them to drag, right click on it like you did with the buttons and click create, convert the symbol. Weird, isn't it? No. What you're gonna do is you're going to, this time, don't click button, click movie clip. Okay? And what you're gonna do with that is, once again, I'm gonna have to get the code from YouTube. Okay, I got the code from YouTube. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the text, once again, that is the symbol that you want them to drag. Select it, it's a symbol. Go to actions, and I'll have this code in the description. Here it is, on press, start drag, quotations, dragging equals true, on release, release outside, stop drag, dragging equals false. Even I'm confused. <laughs> Even I'm confused. But, as you can see, it does work. We're testing it. Around. And you can drag it. You can't drag this stuff. You can only drag this. And as you can see, you can place it right back. And it looks like you actually had it typed together. See, it looks like it was typed together. Both of these buttons lead to that one scene right there. Um, see, both of them lead to that. Both of them are wrong. And you're going to have to pick this up, and then the button that says go will be right under here. So what you're going to do is you're going to basically click on the thing, and you're going to, um, I'm going to open up Notepad. You're going to have to memorize, make sure this is selected, and you're going to have to memorize this code down here. This X and Y down here. You have to memorize that. I'm going to just copy and paste it and put it in this Notepad document. One. There we go. What if, um, and that's basically. I'll just minimize that. And what I want to do is I'm just going to drag this away, and I'm going to put the go button. You win. Something easy and simple. And mark down the font size so they won't see it when they're about to uh, click on it. You know, so they don't see it. See when it's over it. Make sure they don't see it. Well, well, you're going to see it, but you know what I mean. So they don't see it um, before they drag it. Um, and you're going to have the button that says go or whatever it's going to look like. Oh, there we go. Uh, you know, make that a button. Make sure you make that a button. And uh, once again, the on release code. Go to and play the next frame. We're on frame five, so six. Oh, there we go. Okay, and I'll just put a frame, um, right click, insert blank keyframe, just to show you guys that this works. And the F6 thing with the stop action. Um, and there we go. I'm just going to do that to prove to you that this works. And place this back. You untitled notepad. Copy these and place them back in the in the uh, place they were. Basically, how do you do that? You click on it, and in the X and Y, you just basically put it back. You take it from your notepad document and you paste it back into the order that they were. Paste. And there you go. Now it's over. And since these aren't symbols, when we test it out, it should be covered. Maybe not. Well, it was a good effort, though. Maybe you could uh make it covered. Possibly. You know what you could do? Um, remember these again. They're still in the document. Drag this away. Make a little white square. Basically, hide all of this. And uh, we can uh have that square. Um. Convert to the movie clip again. Right click, convert to symbol. And basically just take it and do the drag code again. The uh, code that, that we put in that little piece of text. Not that. The other drag code. That's what we want. Copy onto that rectangle. Paste it so they don't have to drag two times.